Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode, we explored Na Nakreen City. In this episode, we are going to take on the gym of Nakreen City. And before I proceed, I would like to apologize for not sleeping lately. I've been going through some personal problems. And I've also had a really, really, really bad toothache, which is as a result of a broken tooth. It really hurts. And I believe I do have an infection that I'm going to have to get checked out soon. I'm going to have to get the tooth removed before it gets very serious. But I'll try to resume live streaming as soon as I can, but just personal problems have gotten in the way, and yeah. Also, before we begin, I'm going to show you a little update on my team. Uh, off screen, I did some level grinding. We got Ragnarola Roller up to level 24. Uh, let me quickly show both the lower and upper screen, yep. Yeah. Alright, so Ragnarola Roller is up to level 24, and so is Duot. So we are ready to go take on the gym. Um, yeah. So, let's go. We're gonna go to the gym. Now, Korean City Pokemon Gym. Leader Lenora, an archaeologist with Backbone, which, at first glance, would make you think it's a rock type gym, but that has already been dispelled because of what Sharon has spoiled earlier, so let's get into this gym. But not before we come across N. I want to see things no one can see. The truth of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trans should be. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? That so? I think my friends and I should test to see if you can see this future too. So we're going to battle against N. And I was, And we met N in, that, in a previous city. So, yeah, he's... He apparently can talk to Pokemon. So, yeah. And one common theme you'll find out throughout these battles of N until you get to the, you know, way later in the game is that all the Pokemon he uses are from the prior route. So yeah, he's gonna use all Pokemon from that he can catch from the prior route. So yep. Well, we're not gonna keep um, Rock and Roll in against this time pole, simple, whatever. So we're gonna send Do Watch. So let's see if we can take it out for Razor Shell. Almost. Super Sonic hit misses, and we're gonna finish off with a water gun, because why not? Alright. The next shot is Timber. We'll just take this down for Razor Shell as well. And, uh, yeah, basically he's using all wild Pokemon, like freshly caught Pokemon. I can't see the future yet, the world, blah 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 blah. Alright, I didn't even touch that last part of that last. So basically he's gonna say that... You can't solve the equation that'll change the world, etc. So he needs power. And I guess he knows why I force people to agree with them. And now he's talking about Reshiram, which is a legendary, so yeah. Alright, so we're gonna head into this gym. None of our Pokemon took any damage, so we don't need to go back to the Pokemon Center. And this gym is also a library. No, actually, it's a museum, sorry. But yeah, it is a museum. And the Pokemon Gym is actually in the back of the museum, which is a library in the back of the museum, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is where I can restore a fossil. We'll be getting a fossil a little later in the Let's Play, but for now, we are going to make it to the back of the museum. And this guy happens to be Haas, Ace, I don't know. He's going to be the gym leader's husband, so he's going to show us around the gym. This is still going to be Dragon Type one. So yeah, he's just going to give us a little tour. And he's going to direct us to where the gym is. But before we do that, let's go explore the museum a little bit. Ancient brown stone that was buried in the desert. We're going to see what that's all about a little bit later. This is a meteor. An unknown script carved into it. And what is this? 
rare Pokemon from around the world using the path of adventure. Yes, these are actually bones that are carried by Cubone and Marowak, which are Gen 1 Pokemon. Obviously, we're not going to see them, well, at, in, at the very least, in the actual main game, but yeah. So, let's go to the gym, and I know I promised that I would have a discussion on the suspect sets of Mega Metagross, and that's what we're going to do while we face the underlings of this gym, but first, we're going to talk to the gym aid, Pokemon Gym, where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of a museum. That is a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give you that. So, he'll give us a fresh bar, which I believe heals 50 HP. I'll turn to this gym, use normal type Pokemon. This is just between you and me, normal type Pokemon, a weekend fighting type. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. And I will explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon Gym, if you answer the questions hidden in the book, you can move forward. For your information, the first, the first book is Nice to Meet You Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. So, no one is currently in Um. Beat the gym yet. So while we're battling the underlings, um, let's discuss Mega Metagross. As we know, as most of us know who play competitive right now, Mega Metagross is currently being suspect tested for Uber. It is currently OU, but voting should be happening right now or tomorrow, I don't know. But yeah, there's people against and for the ban, and I'm gonna explain my position on SIP. After I just, you know, discuss it. So people are people who are against the ban site as some checks and counters to it, such as Therothorn, Blowbro, Mandy Buzz, that sort of stuff. And people who are for the ban cite that Mega Metagross can carry moves to counter those sites. Well, you see, to me Mega Metagross isn't quite as easy to distinguish as broken. Now the reason why is because, well, it's not broken in my opinion, it just isn't. I mean, it gets countered by Starmory, it's, and, and yes, it is pretty speedy for, it's pretty speedy for a, you know, for something of that typing in bulk, I mean, I believe it has 150 base defense. I don't know. I don't look at Mega Metagross's base defense. But it is pretty bulky and pretty fast, and it has a great ability, Tough Claws, which I don't even know what I'm doing right now, to be honest with you. I completely forgot what we're supposed to do. But, um, yeah. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Alright. Anyways, yeah. So, it gets... Mega Metagross... ...can run... Well, it needs to run... ...two main... What am, why am I not... I need to pay more attention, what the hell. I completely don't know what I'm doing. Alright, sorry. Anyways. Mega Metagross has four moves. Four moves like any Pokemon. Now, you should be running a Zen Headbutt and the, um, Meteor Max or Iron Head, which, whichever is there to do. But, anyway, that makes up two moves. Now, you have two extra moves for coverage. And some people put Grass Mount on it to counter Mega Slow Bro. I mean, it does work, because Tough Claws boost moves that make physical contact, and although Grass Knot is technically a special attack, well not technically, it is a special attack, it does make physical contact. So Tough Claws does boost Grass Knot, and you get a 2 8 KO on Slowbro, if you break the switch into it. Um, you, can also, you can run Hammer Arm for the likes of Magnezone, Heatran, and Therothorn, which is also boosted by Tough Claws. You can run Earthquake if you don't want to run Heat. I mean, Hammer Arm to lower your speed, which is actually my preference. I don't like to lower my, the speed of my Pokemon. 
Um, yeah. So that makes... I mean, you can run Grass on any arm, I suppose, but I personally run Bullet Punch on mine, because priority is good. Especially if you want to dodge those... Those Sucker Punch Bisharp and Sucker Punch Hunch Pros, although Hunch Pro isn't really seen in OU. But yeah, I do prefer Bullet Punch on mine, and as I know some of you guys see on my stream, I do run Earthquake to counter Heatran. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am talking about... I am talking about Mega Metagross, and I'm paying attention to what I'm doing in the gym. But, yeah. Um, Mega Metagross has 110 speed. It is B-Tires with Gengar, although Mega Metagross, if they run Jolly Max Speed, or whatever has Speed Boosting Nature plus Max Speed. Uh, people on the pro band side say that they can run a plethora of moves to counter their check. Like Brass Pop to counter Slowbro, Hammer Arm to counter Theracor, Earthquake to counter Heatran, etc, etc, and that is true. However, Mega Metagross, in my opinion, is a Pokemon that is affected by four move syndrome, unlike Greninja, which honestly could use four move syndrome to its advantage because of stab and whatnot. Now, if you run a move to counter one Pokemon, then you're gonna not be able to run a move to counter another Pokemon. And honestly, I just don't think Mega Metagross is that um, difficult to deal with. I mean, it's, if you don't Mega Evolve it, well, before you Mega Evolve it, it has lackluster special defense and speed, so yeah. But then again, that's only really relevant if you actually send Metagross in to take an attack, instead of just being a free switch in. But if you do send Mega Metagross in, I mean, not Mega Metagross, regular Metagross in, to take an attack, that's not really good to be honest with you. Um, Scizor definitely counters Mega Metagross. I mean, Scizor can just roost off the damage it does with Hammer Arm, and. If you run HP Fire on Mega Metagross, I just wouldn't recommend it, because that means you have to run 30 speed IVs instead of 31. Therefore, you do not speed tie with Gengar, and, and that, that was, that stuff you can't speed tie a Gengar. People argue that Mega Metagross should not be banned, because fairies will be running rampant. Well, well, that is true. That's not a reason to keep it from being banned. That is an irrelevant argument. I'm not really sure if I'm conveying my point accurately, but before we take on the gym leader, let's... Let's heal our rag and roll up. And give it some... Ether. And let's take on Nora. Lenora, the gym leader. Lenora or Nora? Welcome, the director of the Nar Narcreen Museum and the Narcreen Gym Leader. It's me, Lenora. Well then, shall I I'm going to research how you battle with Pokemon you on the So we're going to take on the gym leader. This is our second gym leader of this region we're going to take on. And I do have a strategy for her. She's going to send out her Herdia. And I'm going to send out my Reg and Roll it. And you know what I'm going to do with this? It's going to have to be off. That's going to be big, actually. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pump it with Iron Defenses. She's going to go for Leer. It's going to lower our defense by one stage. However, we're going to increase our, our defenses by two stages. We're gonna keep doing that. She can't really hit us hard with a normal type attack. She's, not, she's just gonna keep wasting her time leering. 
Then it's gonna keep getting a plus one every turn, but yeah. I've had no problem, like, being for the bands that Smogon has, you know, given us. But I don't think Daniel Megaross is one band that I can agree with. I mean, I can understand if it does get banned, why it did, but I don't think it should be banned, in my opinion. I would not mind if it did. And for some reason, they keep flinching us, which is awesome. We're gonna heal, so why not? She's gonna heal, so we are too. I guess I'm not really. I mean, I know what to say. I know what I would argue. I know what both sides are arguing, but I'm not really good at explaining it. Like, I trip over my words a lot, and that's a real big problem. So, yeah. I'm sorry if I didn't really make my point clear enough, but... Man, she's gonna keep on fighting. We're gonna keep on boosting our defense, because we need it against that Watchdog. First, a... long battle. Ooh, nice critical hit by Ragnarola. Fight. This is actually going to raise our regular ruler to level 25, which is going to let it evolve after this battle. And she's going to send her a watch right now. This thing is a nightmare. It is fast. It has retaliate, which will do massive damage to you the turn after her other Pokemon thing. It's got hypnosis. Yeah, this is going to suck. So, yeah. Fortunately, though, with our massive raid in defense, we should be able to, you know, hold on, hold on a bit. Rock Blast, one for Watch Hog. Fortunately, Watch Hog does have, fortunately, um, Hypnosis does have low accuracy, so we should be able to take care of this Watch Hog. Yep, we're definitely going to take out this Watch Hog. Again, as I said before, I'm not really in favor of a Metagross ban. I do understand why it would be banned, but I'm not for it. It is very strong. It does get a boost in Tough Claws. It has good bolt, good typing, although it does have four weaknesses. Ground, Fire, Dark, and Ghost. However, it has no recovery, so if it gets worn down, it can't really recover. Unless you use some weird rest sleep toss set, why would you use that on a Mega Metagross? I have no idea. Power Gem, no thank you, that's a special type attack, and Boulder is it more of a physical attacker. So, what do we get? What badge do we get? We get the basic badge which will allow our Pokemon that are up to level 30 to obey us. We also get a TM, Retaliate. We didn't really see Retaliate used in this battle. Thankfully, it is a scary-ass move. There's a lot more damage if the ally faces the turn before it uses. So, yeah, basically, it's a good revenge killer. So, Lenora's husband's gonna come in and alert us of, a, of an emergency. And let's see what the aid says. Did you hear a strange people is team charging through the museum? Oh, the gym. That's congratulations. So the museum. Oh no, what shall we do? I don't know. I found that line pretty hilarious. Because he's like, oh yeah, that's nice. Congratulations to the gym match. But wait, the museum. Oh no, what should we do? So let's see our name on the plaque. And we shall go into back into the museum. And we hear. The music changed, which means something is going on here. And it's Team Plasma. So, yeah. 
So they're going to try to take a dragon skull for liberation, which is interesting because what is a skeleton skull is going to do to help you liberate Pokemon or whatever you're trying to do? So silly fool should take the um, dragon skull. That does piss Lenora off. He's telling us to go after him, but he's not. He's like, we have to go after him, but I'm just gonna hang back here, because why not? So we see Lenora outside the gym, the museum, and we see this strange fella. Good day, Lenora. Find any fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist walk again? Tesla, this is Burr. He may not look like him, but he's the Castellia City's gym leader. So, yeah. And here comes Bianca. Oh, hi, Tesla. What's everybody doing here? Everybody. There's only two other people outside. Who's everybody? Tesla, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends. Bianca and Sharon, I want to see their trainers. Okay then, let's flip and search. I'll head this way. Everyone, Sharon and Bianca, I want to see her at the museum. So she's going to send us on a quest with Berg, the Castilla City gym leader, to go find Team Plasma. Oh, we got the Dowsing Machine, which is very good. We can find hidden items with it. Very handy items. And Sharon and Bianca are going to go into the museum, and we have to catch up with Berg. And I'm going to register as a Dowsing Machine before we do anything else. And actually, I do believe that will be the end of the episode. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon White, we will go round up some robbers and get that Dragon Skull back. So I'll see you next time for Let's Play Pokemon White. Have a great night.